I'll do two noodles. I don't know the other I'll do two, I was gonna say. Over in a glass. I can share bring it over here. Mm -hmm. calls me I'm like yeah I call her and she's like where's Sophie I was like oh, I don't know I knew you were ignoring her call and then she was like oh, I tried calling Sophie and I was like sorry I'm not good sponsored by Care Of. They're definitely not new here on my channel. If you're not familiar with the brand, they make it super easy for you to take your vitamins, supplements, and protein powders. All you have to do is go on their website and you take a quick, short, five minute quiz, answering questions about your lifestyle, your health, your diet. From there, Care Of will recommend the vitamins that you should take and you'll get your order shipped straight to your door. I love that their products are formulated with clean ingredients and they're super transparent about the research and sourcing behind each product. So I just received this month's order. For the most part, I take most of these vitamins on a daily, but there's some new ones that I wanna talk about. They actually came in these bottles, but they normally come in individual compostable packs. But for now, they're sending out bottles just so that they can get shipped to us faster with like everything going on. The first supplement is ashwagandha, and this supports stress. I've been taking ashwagandha for over a year now and I really love it. It's like one of my must-have supplements. And elderberry, elderberry is an herb with antioxidant properties that support immune health. And next I have zinc, which is just an essential mineral for immune health and digestion. Probiotic blend to support digestive and immune health. We have astaxanthin, which supports your brain, heart, and skin health. And lastly, magnesium for sleep support and muscle recovery. If you guys are interested, you can take the quiz to see which vitamins and supplements Care Up recommends for you. You also can get 25% off your first three months by using my promo code SOFIAC25. So everything will be in the description box. Check it out. It's been a while since I made Tinjang Jjigae. So that's what I'm making for dinner using the O Food Ping Jang. Scorching hot. I've never had mother in law's kimchi. I mean, especially since I'm spoiled with my mom's kimchi, but we're all out of that now. <laughs> so, this was at Whole Foods. I got it a little bit ago, but the thing about kimchi is that it's fermented, so it can just kind of chill in the jar. <sighs> Out. Okay, put the air out. 
y'all know about that trick. But I gotta like move it upside down. It's like not enough juice. Like it's gotta be juicy. Give you my honest review. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Very different from what I'm used to. Tastes much more catered to the American palette. Hmm. It's just missing something, but this is, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm going a little crazy. I've just been editing all day. This video is going live tomorrow. I'll probably be up till late finishing it. Um, my vlogs are just, just take so much time, um, especially because the duration of my vlogs is about 20 to 30 minutes. So that's a really long video, you know? I have to do it, section it off in days, um, or else like I can feel my body just hating me. I've been practicing standing and working. I have my little fold out table, which some of you have asked me where I got this. I bought it on Amazon many, many years ago. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. You can even use this as like a breakfast tray in your bed. Um, I got it to work in my bed or on the couch. But if you pop it up on like a dining room table, it becomes the perfect standing desk. Hi. Look at her derpy face. She has such a derpy face. Simple salad, but incredibly delicious. Robin was raving about this arugula from the farmer's market. So we went yesterday and she went a little crazy. Oh my goodness, no one's gonna look at them and be like, well, that's tasty. Me and Robin are just laughing about how much greenery <laughs> is in the kitchen right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. My kitchen looked like a jungle, you guys. Like we bought enough greens for an entire family of six, just for the two of us. And we were cracking up because she was like in denial. The entire time, even when we were buying all of these greens, I'm like, okay, that's, that's a lot. Do you think we need all of that? Yeah. Mm hmm Are you sure we're gonna finish this, Robin? Oh yeah, we're gonna finish it. And we get home, she lays everything out and it just looked like so much greens. It was hilarious, but. I will say, the arugula is really good. Very peppery, tastes so fresh. I've just been craving like a clean salad at least once a day. <laughs> My favorite. It's a really good one. Look how pink that is. Oh my God. Robin picked this out at the farmer's market. It was really expensive. It was $10 for like a smaller watermelon but my, 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 it is so good. It's so sweet. Mm. Could literally have watermelon all day. What did I do? You never do that.
just craving an Americano. Mm. I am really excited about today because I'm meeting the girls for a little outside picnic date. It's actually Emily's birthday, and so Jen asked if Whaley and I wanted to join and we would surprise her, so that's what we're doing. It's just gonna be the four of us, and obviously we're gonna be super safe, and we're gonna be outdoors, which is nice. So it'll be a nice little reunion. Um, I've seen the girls kind of like separately, but we just, I haven't seen them together, and so I'm really excited to just catch up, celebrate. I actually have something to look forward to today. I also kind of been rearranging my room, um, oh my god, this cream is amazing. I've been using, I think it's Ursa Major, Ursa Major? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I have been obsessed with their essential face tonic. I got this like two weeks ago and I swear I've gone through a lot of it, but this has really saved my skin. It's really gentle. It's I like to use it on a cotton pad and it just removes all the dirt. It makes me feel so clean. You can feel it kind of like working. So I've been using this and I decided to pick up some other products from the line. So I got the Fortifying Face Balm and I also got the Vitamin C Serum. It's only been like a week of me using this, but it is been magical. Oh, and I also picked up the Beauty Chef Probiotic Skin Refiner. This has AHAs and BHAs. It does have a form of chemical exfoliation. I only have physical exfoliants and I really wanted something chemical and natural. I plan on using this only twice a week. I tried it out for the first time yesterday and it smells just like kombucha, but I've heard really great things about this and read a lot of good reviews. This is super expensive though. This little bottle is $75, but I can't give my thoughts on it yet because I've only used it once, but if you guys are interested, I'll keep you posted. What I was saying is that I've been rearranging my room. I've completely removed my vanity in that desk. I'm selling those pieces just because I don't want a vanity anymore. Like all my makeup fits in here and I just think it's a bit excessive to have that in my room. My room was just so cluttered and I wanted to open up the space. So got rid of that, got a really long, beautiful mirror. Um, I put like my makeup stuff down here and I'm gonna change this mirror. And I got a smaller vanity mirror and I plan on getting a different block that kind of elevates the, my vanity mirror where I could just put this on the side um, and hide it. Cause I obviously throughout the day, I just keep this clean. But when I do do my makeup, I can pull it out. And this is just so much more like me. Simple, easy. I don't need a whole vanity filled with makeup unless, you know, when I move in my future home, there's like a vanity section. I just don't want to have to like force a vanity in my room. I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to the picnic. It'll be fun. I was telling them how excited I am to like look forward to something. <laughs> I know, me too. This is like the new party. We are waiting for Emily. Jen just parked. Is that not them? Did you just do this? Oh, okay, try it. What's over here? Jen! You just have to call. Jen! Jen! Emily! Is that not them? That's them, right? Emily! Jen! <laughs> okay, I wanna, I'm just gonna call her. <laughs> Complete she fail. Okay, okay, they're getting too far. Or should I call Emily? Try, is it going through? Because my call wasn't going through. But right here, there's service. Okay, you try Emily, I'll try Jen. Emily! <laughs> you guys! I had no idea. Absolutely no idea. Is it on 10 seconds? 10 seconds. Ten. Okay, all right, then we got some time. Okay, yes. so we get in position. Yeah, we got it. All right, we got the shot. 
having a little pick-me-up because I am tired. <laughs> My body's like not used to just being so stimulated. So anyways, I already had a cup of coffee in the morning and I'm just gonna have this matcha so I can get to work. It is Friday, but I still have a lot of work to do because I have to meet a deadline by Monday. This weekend there's a lot of things planned just on a personal level and with work so I have to try my best to complete everything. Good morning. I am making tokuk with mandu which is rice cake soup with dumplings. I've been craving it so I got all of the ingredients from the Korean store the other day and that's what we're making. This knife set, I'll show you guys in a bit, but it's from Material Kitchen. It works so well. I've had like my old set of kitchen knives for like four to five years and they still work, but I forgot what it feels like to have a knife like this. It's amazing. Long strings. Got my book here. I've been soaking it for about an hour and my anchovy broth is finished. Oh, so this is a set from Material Kitchen. It's awesome because there's this like magnet side right here. And so the three knives just like perfectly fit in that section. The left side, which has like all of your kitchen essentials. <laughs> I'll take Luna from you. Yeah, right. I would. Let's give it all up. Great job. Yeah, open it up. Yes, Saka. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty legit. Best purchase of 2020, baby. That's legit. So I just bought, I don't know what you call it, a cart? It's a portable cart. I got it for like the flea markets because Robin and I had a horrible experience like carrying everything. And everyone's like giving me shit about it, but look how useful it is. See, this is freaking awesome. I'll link it in the description box if you guys are interested. And I gotta show you guys how easy it is to fold up. It's like the easiest thing to do. Okay, baby. Alrighty. So this part can undo like that, you see? Okay, here's a better look. Let me show you guys how easy it is to put this away. First, lower that. All you do is pull this middle guy and that's it. You fold it close together, put this back in the Velcro and put the cover on. How convenient. Okay guys, so I just wanted to kind of pop in and give you guys a very transparent update on what's been going on with women. When we first started Woman, we really wanted to build a strong community and like our main goal was to create conscious clothing where you wouldn't have to settle on quality. And to be completely honest, that's just been getting more difficult and difficult 
for us to do. It's been really hard for our business to stay afloat. When the pandemic first hit, like every other brand, we were really scared. We didn't know what this meant. We're concerned about the safety of our employees, but other questions like, is our factory gonna close down? What about the fabric mills? Are people even going to want to buy clothes? So we try to stay positive try to be optimistic and we had a lot of tough meetings um, just figuring out what our plan is moving forward and that's why we decided to start our series instead of having one big collection every season we thought that we would drop a series every two weeks and it would be like three to four max five pieces with bigger collections they demand heavy development cost and inventory overhead so we thought that switching to series was the best way to go. And it's definitely better for the environment and I truly have loved our series format. But we recently had to come together and have a very serious meeting about what we're gonna do because at the rate that we're going, the business just wouldn't last. So our team got together last Friday and we had a very like candid, honest discussion about everything that's happening and there were two options for us. It's either we shut down the business or we scale back significantly. Season one did extremely well and that energy was kind of there for series two, but then as we hit series three and four, we watched our sales decrease significantly. It could be a number of reasons. I mean, the obvious is like we're in this pandemic and it's tough right now for apparel brands out there unless you're creating more pieces that are catered to just chilling at home. So obviously we decided collectively that we were gonna scale back because I don't think it's an option for us just to close the business until we reach the point where we literally have no choice. Our business is still such a baby, but we've put in so much work into it. I mean, this pandemic has really affected us in many ways and it's been it's been horrible and it's it's really been stressful um, not only for me but for everyone on our team by the time you're watching this which is a wednesday today our series five would have launched but we decided to pull back the release and push it to mid-september and instead of having um, a series come out every two weeks we're just going to do one series a month we truly feel like series five is our best series yet and series six is just on a whole nother level and both of those series are catered to just relaxing at home while we're quarantining like i was super excited with coming out with series five today but we just had to make the best decision for the business and we really need to just slow things down and our priority right now is getting all of the orders from series one and four sent off to you guys and thank you guys for being patient and we're like really trying the best that we can. We were already understaffed and now it's even smaller because yeah, our business is just taking a huge hit and we're not able to afford to like have a bigger team. So instead of our series five releasing today, we decided that this Friday, August 21st, we're gonna do a site-wide sale with all the remaining pieces from our previous collections. There's a ton of beautiful styles that we love and they're just, sitting on the shelves collecting dust. So we're gonna do a 65% off sale. To everyone who has supported us, placed an order, we're seriously so grateful because we just would not be here and probably wouldn't have made it this far through this pandemic if it wasn't for you guys. And so overall, we've done a good job, but it's, it's just not enough to keep the business going. And so hopefully, with our 65% off sale, you guys find some pieces that you really love. And I know we're not perfect and we make mistakes and we hear all your feedback and hopefully you guys just know we're trying our best. Um, but truly the last thing I would want is for all of this to go down the drain because it just would feel like such a waste. Um, and I'm, I'm like super proud of what we've created and like our brand ethos and our community and I know I'm like repeating myself at this point but it's just it's like it's it's really frustrating feeling to feel like before the pandemic we were on the rise but then no one could have predicted like what was gonna happen to the economy and it just feels like everything has been against us we'll definitely 
keep you posted on any updates but for now you can just keep an eye out for the sale on Friday and I hope that you guys can find a couple things that you like. That's all I needed to say for now. Um, thank you and we love you guys. Bye.